Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are available which are available at the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below and also I have segregated the channel into 5 playlists which are uh, easy, medium and hard depending upon the toughness of the question and the premium level subscription questions as premium playlist questions and I combined all the questions into one single playlist as all SQL playlist. The question which I am trying to solve today is question number 2738 medium count occurrences in a text. Let's see the question. Write an SQL query to find the number of occurrences the, of the words bull and bear as a stand alone word, disregarding any instances when appearing as a word. Okay. Return the word bull and bear along with their corresponding. Okay. Now what they are asking is, is there a word called bull in this? If you see, there is a word called bull here. Here also it is there bull. Here also there is bull. So it is returning three times. Similarly for bear. Is the bear there in this first sentences? Bear is not there in the first sentences. Okay, second. Okay, here you can see bear is there. Similarly for the third one. Here it is there. So it is returning two times. So one we need to do is using regular expressions we need to see whether it is there or not. Let's say select case one regular expression instruction content it it contains let's say bull. I am keeping space after and before bull because it should not be part of let's say another word for example bullet et should be there also bull will be matching so if you keep space after bull before and after then it will take all the things which are uh, a standalone word okay if it is not there zero then yes let's call it something else else Let's say no and as something st or something unknown column can't okay county net what is the spelling county net let's see it again okay from from file stable let's take the same word again let's see it Okay, then it's executing. If you see in the output, it is showing content. Here it is showing continent. So there is some typo here in the lead code itself. It is a mistake there, not ours. So what it is doing? If it is if it is there, it is showing yes. If it is not there, it is showing false. Let's keep it something like this. Uh, let's say bull as something word. Now you can see bullias, bullias, bullias is there. Let's create one more thing. Same instead of bull, let's take bear. Instead of bull here, let's take bear. Okay, we need to keep union all because we are joining these two words, two tables. Here you can see 
yes 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 no 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 so let's say let's use one more smart technique if it is yes let's call it one if it is no let's call it zero similarly if it is yes let's call it one if it is no let's call it zero so we'll get one 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 zero zero if you keep some of that you will be getting that right we got 3 comma 2 so it should not be called ST they have said to call it as count ok done let's submit it ok our solution has been accepted by the platform and uh, thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for SQL round in uh, data scientist, data analyst or a business analyst role. It will be grateful it will be greatly helpful for them and also for you. Just keep practicing and complete all the 230 questions. You will be able to solve any question in any round. Thanks for watching.